Buttigieg's remarks ignite an intense social debate over the role of government in balancing freedom, accountability, and personal choice. The conflict between the sanctity of life and moral responsibility comes to the forefront, especially when discussing abortion as a form of freedom. But for all of that, what's really filling my sails right now, and what I think Kamala Harris is expressing so well right now, is the positive side of all this, a reminder of what we are for, uh, namely freedom. I'm so glad she has made freedom the theme of her campaign because I think in so many ways that's what's at stake. And yes, women's freedom is exhibit A after Donald Trump demolished the right to choose. But of course, men are also more free in a country where we have a president who stands up for things like access to abortion. Men are more free when the leader of the free world and the leader of this country supports access to birth control. The emphasis here is on the profound moral and legal responsibilities that come with such choices. Equating male freedom with the availability of abortion sidesteps, the crucial issue of individual accountability, and the behaviors that lead to pregnancy. Life's sacredness stands as a fundamental value. Buttigieg's comments stir controversy because many see abortion as the taking of innocent lives. True freedom, they argue means protecting the most vulnerable among us, including the unborn. The importance of family and traditional values cannot be overstated. Real freedom flourishes in the context of strong family structures and moral responsibility, not through policies that may erode these cherished values.